Hi guys, today I'll be showing you top 10 best free tweaks for any jailbroken iPhone running iOS 11.2 up to 11.4 beta 3. If you like the channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified when a new video is released. Okay, without further delay, let's get started. The first tweak on the list is called Kairos 2. Here. This tweak is my most favorite tweak because it allows me to set a schedule for when a particular message should be sent to a particular person. How many times have you forgotten to send a message to someone important? With this tweak, you will never forget again because you can set schedules for those messages to be sent at your most preferred times. Let me show you an example here. So the first thing you need to do is you go to settings. Here, you can see Kairos, click on it. So at the top, they say schedule picker activation. You click on it, there are four choices for you automatically on send. That one means when you click on the send button, it always asks you to set a schedule. The second one is send button, double tap. That one, if you double tap on the send button, it will ask you to set a schedule. Third one, replace app store button. That's what I chose. I'll show you why I choose the third one. And replace arrow button. So here we go to messages app. You can see next to the camera, you will see this one. That's a schedule. In the past, before I select that, if I go back to the setting here, if I select automatically on send, you can see it is the app store next to the camera. So I think by having app store there, it's a waste. You don't need to use app store. So why not change that? That's why I say the third choice would be the best. You can see another one is a smart airplane toggle. I also enable that because it is recommended. So if you enable this, it means if it is close to the time that a scheduled message should be sent and let's say your iPhone is still in airplane mode. If you enable this feature, which means it will deactivate airplane mode and then send the message first when the schedule time is up and then reactivate airplane mode for you. It's really awesome. That's why you should enable this. The next one is smart battery send. You should also enable this because it is recommended. After you configure this already, if you go to the messages app, let's say I want to send to this guy. So you see, if you don't type anything, the app store logo is still there. But when you type something, you see a change to the schedule logo. If you click on schedule, you can see you can change the day and the time and the minute as well. I wanted to send today, but at different time. The time right now is 10.18, so I would set it to 10.19. I set the schedule. That message is gone. And wait, look at the clock on my MacBook. When it reaches 19, it will send the message. See, it's sent. And this person received the message. It's really awesome. I mean, with this, you will not worry about forgetting to send any important messages to any important person again. And you can set as many schedules as you want to. Let's say I set another time, you turn 20, and you go back here, look at the top right, click on that, you will see it will show you all the schedules that you have. If you send to the new person, let's say I choose from the list, let's say I choose this guy. You see it also works with the normal SMS, not just with iMessages. Same thing, I can set it to like in August the 2nd at 10 p.m., maybe 10 a.m. Click set, look at the schedule list here. And you can even remove from schedule. So what you have set already, you can even remove it. Again, if you want to delete it, click on it, click remove, it's done. This tweak is really awesome and it's completely free. I would recommend you to try this app. See, it just sent another one. Okay, this is tweak number one. Let's move on to tweak number two. Tweak number two is called dark messages here. Yeah. As its name suggests, with this tweak, you can turn the interface of your messages app into a dark mode. If you go to its settings in the settings app here, yeah, as you can see at the top, the dark mode, if you toggle that on, if you go to the message, see, it's all dark, really cool. And you can also set it to automatically change based on the night shift as well. Which means if it turn dark outside, it will automatically activate dark mode in your messages app. So if we turn this on, it will deactivate the dark mode so that it will activate by itself when it is dark outside. I would prefer leaving the dark mode on like that, always on. You can also control it with Noctis. 
but this one you cannot activate it yet because you have to install Noctis. And at the bottom here you can see they say balloon colors. You can change the color of the outgoing iMessages to any color you prefer here. There are lots of colors. And usually it's blue iMessage. When you send it out, it's always blue. And the outgoing SMS, you can see. Usually the outgoing SMS is green, but you can change it to any color you want. It's really awesome. And also the incoming. And again, by default it's dark, but I change it to green. After you change that already, you can go to the app. You can see the look of my messages here. You can see my message, my outgoing iMessages. It's blue based on what I set and the incoming messages are green. That's for iMessages. For regular messages, let's say this one, you can see again the incoming messages are the same green but the outgoing SMS, it is red like that so that I can differentiate between the regular SMS and the iMessages. Even the send button, it's red. But again, it depends on you, whatever colors you prefer. And another cool thing about this tweak is that if someone send you a message, when you want to quick reply, that quick reply is also in a dark mode. Let me show you. So this guy sent me something. Click send. You can see when I swipe down, you can see it's in the dark mode as well. It's really awesome. I type back like that. It's really awesome. This is tweak number two. Let's move on to tweak number three. Tweak number three is called Ace iOS 11. So as you can see, there are three choices, but the one I recommend you is in the middle. This one is from this CD source. It's called Zaro Repo. At the bottom, you can see. So I tried the other two and it doesn't work. It only works with this one. This tweak is in fact a theme tweak for your iPhone. And to make this theme work, you also need to install one more tweak call Animo. Let me show you here yeah, this tweak. This tweak acts as the winter board to deploy any theme on your iPhone. Let me show you here. Here you can see on my home screen, this is the Ace iOS 11 theme. All the icons of most apps have changed to look much cooler than before. Most of them, especially the built-in applications like Apple Watch, the photo, the contacts, the calendar, the camera, the settings at the bottom, the phone, and it looks much cooler and more attractive. You can see all the icons look simple, neat, and beautiful. Also, the shape of each icon is almost round. What I like the most about this theme is that there are only minimal changes to the look of each app. So, to change the theme, you need to go to Animon app that you have installed at the moment. Here. You can see right now, I'm using this one, Ace iOS 11. These two are my most favorite. The other one is A Sierra X. That one you want your iPhone's app to look like Mac apps. So let's say I want to change to the second one. I click on the word enable. It changed to disable. But before you can enable the second one, you have to disable the first one first. Again, you click on the second one. And then at the top right, you can see the word preview. Click on it. And again, on the top right, you see the word apply. Click on it. Now go to the home screen. Here. You can see the look. It's round just like your Mac apps. You don't need much, just install this app called Animon and install the themes that you want and make sure it's compatible with iOS 11. To know it's compatible or not, after you install that theme, it will pop up here. If it doesn't pop up, which means it's not compatible. Okay, this is tweak number three. Let's move on to tweak number four. Tweak number four is called Shield 11 here. This tweak is the free version of BioProtect. If you love protecting your apps, this is the best tweak for you. It's similar to BioProtect because for example, if you go to the settings here, you can see here they say Shield 11, click on it. It just asks you, are you the device owner? And again, you have to scan with your finger. At the top, you can see they say dark mode and you can see the setting is simple. There's nothing much here. You can see the word folders if you enable that, which means whenever you open a folder like this, it will ask you to scan a finger as well. And next is locked apps. If you go to it, you can select any apps that you want to protect. Let's say you want to protect my contact, my photos. Let's say two of these. So if I click on contact, they will ask you to scan your finger again. Same thing with photo. 
So go back to settings here. So like I said earlier, it's mostly similar to BioProtect, but this is a free version. But there's something that this tweak doesn't have. For BioProtect, you can also protect your controls in the control center. If I want to deactivate anything, let's say Bluetooth, I can just deactivate like that. It won't ask me to scan my finger. But for BioProtect, you can protect the controls here as well. So this is when BioProtect has the advantage. However, if you look at the bottom here, you can see the word intruder photo. This is what BioProtect doesn't have. And this feature is really cool because when anyone tries to get an authorized access to your protected apps or folders on your iPhone, it will take pictures of their faces the number of times they try to scan their finger. For example, if they try to scan two times, it will take two photos. Let me show you an example. If I try to access the contacts, click on it. And then I try to use my finger. So I scan my finger. See, it's a greasy fingers enter password. So you can have the option to enter password, but I'm not the owner. So I scan one time already. And again, I try to scan one more. I show you that. So I scan twice at the moment. I click cancel. It pop up this for you. It said there was a problem verifying your identity. So, which means it already took two photos of me trying to access. To find out where that photos are stored, you have to go back to these settings here. It says intruder photo. Take a look under intruder photo feature. You say intruder photo will suddenly take a photo the person is trying to get into your apps. And after it takes, it will store in this directory, var, mobile, and shield 11. To get to that directory, you have to install an app called Filza. This app is just like iFiles, but iFiles does not support iOS 11, so you have to use this Filza. If you go to this app for the first time, you have to go to mobile, and you can see at the bottom, they say Shield 11. Click on that. You can see these photos. So there are four because I tried to access it four times. Because when you cancel without scanning your finger, you click cancel, it also take a photo. Here the photo, this one as well. So it take a photo, the person doesn't know it. You're the owner, you will know that someone have tried to access your protected apps or folders without your permission. This tweak is really cool, okay? This is tweak number four, let's move on to tweak number five. Tweak number five is called Noctis 11, here. This tweak is a much better replacement to Eclipse X, which basically turn your whole iPhone into the dark mode. With Clip X, you can only turn your apps into the dark mode. But with this tweak, Noctis 11, you can turn your apps, your lock screen, your widgets, your dock, your folders, and more into the dark mode. So let's go to the settings here. Go to Noctis 11. So right now, I do not activate it yet. Here you can see at the top, you say enable or disable Noctis 11. If I enable it, you can see it turn dark. And remember also, you need to click on Respring for the changes to take effect. Let's say before I do anything else, let's take a look at the options here first. You see Toggle Eclipse. You see that's why I said it's better than Eclipse because inside this Noctis 11, you can also enable Eclipse inside this tweak. You can turn that on as well. They have the system mode, the smart invert mode and so on. I just leave all of this like this. And again, for it to take effect, you have to click on the word Respring here. Just wait for it. Okay, now you can see at the bottom, my dock, it turns dark. Let's say I try to access my widgets, see all of it turn dark. It looks really cool. And even my folders, you can see my folders, it's dark as well. You click on it here, you can see the look of it. The background of my folder is dark. It's really awesome with this tweak. If you try to access some applications like settings, you can see all of it dark. App Store as well. It turned dark. So you can see how cool this tweak is. Okay, let's move on to tweak number six. Tweak number six is called Haptic Keyboard here. As its name suggests, with this tweak, whenever you type something on your keyboard, you will feel a vibration, which means each key on the keyboard that you type, it will vibrate. Well, not as strong as when someone calls you, but it feels like when you force touch your screen. As you can see the description here, compatible with iOS 9 and 10, but I have tested on iOS 11, it still works fine. But make sure that your iPhone is 3D touch compatible. So you have to have iPhone success and above to be able to use this tweak. I mean, you have to install this tweak to feel the haptic feedback. Whenever you type on each key, you will feel a vibration. 
it's kind of really cool. I mean, to be able to feel the vibration of each keystroke like that, it's awesome. Okay, this is tweak number six. Let's move on to tweak number seven. Tweak number seven is called Jumper here. With this tweak, you are able to change your two lock screen shortcut controls at the bottom of the screen. And usually on the right is your camera and on the left is the shortcut to your flashlight. But right now you can see I change it to my phone app and my messages app. With this tweak, it works only with iPhone 10. Or it can also work with any older iPhone that has installed iPhone 10 features. So if you don't own an iPhone 10 just like me, but want to install iPhone 10 features in your older iPhone, you need to install a tweak from Cydia called Fluidity to get iPhone 10 features. However, if you don't know how to do that, watch my previous video regarding how to install iPhone 10 features on any older iPhone. I have included the link in the description, you can check it out. So after you install the Fluidity tweak, your iPhone will be like iPhone 10, just like my iPhone right now. You see, it acts like an iPhone 10. And after you have iPhone 10 feature, you can install this tweak. So you go to settings here. Here you can see jumper, click on that. So there's nothing much to configure here. So you can see my first shortcut here is phone. I can change to anything else. Let's say Google Plus. Second shortcut, let's put Messenger. And again, for it to take effect, you need to respring. Click on respring here, click yes. If you look at my lock screen, you can see on the left is Google Plus. On the right is Messenger. You click on it, see so it go directly to my Google Plus. It's kind of cool, I mean, being able to change your lock screen shortcut like that. Okay, let's move on to the next tweak. Tweak number 8 is called Mela. With this tweak, you are able to change the look of your volume control icon to look slimmer and more awesome than before. I'll show you an example. So if you click on the volume button, you can see it has different look, right? It's not like the one you used to see before. And you can change that by going to settings here, Mela. Here, position, you can change position as well. Click on adjust position. If you want to move it to any place, you just drag it to any place you like so that whenever you click on the volume up or down buttons, it will activate from that place. Let's say put down here. And you can also rotate this as well. To rotate, you have to tap on the screen three times. See, it rotate. If you want it to rotate again, do the same. Let's say I like this one, I want to put it here. To save this, you have to double tap. Now I say, would you like to save these changes? Click yes. And if I click on the volume up and down button, see, it will be there. And the color, you can see here, you can use the custom colors. Like mine, I'm using custom colors. You can change to any colors you want. And if you don't want to, it's up to you. So with this mellow tweak, it just makes your volume control icon look much cooler than before. Okay, this is tweak number eight. Let's move on to tweak number nine. Tweak number 9 is called Faster Animations. Here, as its name suggests, with this tweak, you are able to make any animations on your iPhone look faster and cooler than before. Let me show you an example here. So if we open this settings app, I exit out of it, you can see it pop up the animation on the screen look cooler. Like that, it just pop. You go to any app, it just like zoom in and out like that. There's no settings to configure here for this tweak. It just work like that. It doesn't need any configurations. And if you want to really change the speed of your animations to be even faster than this, there is another tweak that is similar to faster animations. It is called Animation Be Fast. Here, you install it. It will allow you to change the speed of your animation even much faster. Okay, let's move on to the last tweak of the list. It is called Bamoji. Here. With this tweak, you are able to change the predictive text when you are typing with a bar of emojis, which would come very handy when typing because you don't need to click to swap between keyboards. So if you go to messages here, so usually you have to click on the Earth logo here to change between keyboards. But with bar emoji, you can see my predictive text are right now the bar of emojis. And if you're using iPhone 10, this bar emoji tweak will add an emoji bar at the bottom under your keyboard. And because I'm not using iPhone 10, I don't have that. But if you're using iPhone 10, this emojis bar here will go to the bottom under the keyboard. It's really handy when you're typing. You type something and you want to add some emoji. It's right there at your fingertip. It's really awesome. Okay, these are top 10 best free tweaks for iOS 11. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. 
Comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day, guys. See you in the next video.